Muslim is born this before they take shahada. Is this what people say sometimes the only way out of Islam is is death? That's that's the fact. But still this is the miracle. It's still the fastest growing religion. Knowing this, people still accept it. Christians, Jews are still accepting Islam. I'm not surprised no, it's the fastest growing religion in the world when the penalty for leaving Islam is death. Renouncing the message of Islam, the sin of apostasy, is certainly a serious business. But many moderate Muslims would balk at Yusuf's views on the death sentence. Their view is that faith is a matter of personal assent, and point to one of the Quran's most celebrated texts to make their point. Surah 2, verse 256, there is no compulsion in religion. Uh, peace of Christ to all. In this video, as you see, as usual, you know, we show you how Muslims do lie. Now, watch with me carefully and discover the lie. You know, this is why our videos is important. Because you do not know. And as long as you do not know, they will fool you. Now, we saw part of this video and we saw this gentleman supposedly who he converted to Islam and he think that Islam is a fastest a growing religion by convert this is not the fact a growing religion by birth and 99% of them they are dying from hunger again you know like Darfur and Sudan and uh, Indonesia and Bangladesh so uh, actually the the increase of number of Muslims in the Islamic world is, is is extremely dangerous for them not for anyone else they will they will pay the high price for it because they, they you know uh, they lay eggs they don't give kids you know they lay eggs and they cannot afford it even to take care of their kids this is why the crimes is so high this is why their 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 country is long behind every country in the world uh, they are living in the cave time so what the benefit of having one billion, you know, when a country like Netherlands alone, the GDP income is more than a three, three times more than all the Islamic world together. A country is not even 12 millions. Uh, or Israel, you know, which is not even 5 millions. Anyway, this is not a topic, but in here we will show you <coughs> uh, how, how they, they lie. When they are, you know, when the, the, the interview asked him, ask this guy about the death penalty, you will see this guy, he have silence, he didn't know what to say. He told him, well, if you leave Islam, you know that, you know, you know the penalty, it is death. He said, yeah, and still there is people uh, accept, this is, this is the miracle. Yeah, absolutely, it's a miracle, you know. Uh, I think only fool, they accept that. But I believe you are a hypocrite in that point. Because you live in the state USA and they cannot practice that on you. But if you live in the Middle East and you decide to leave Islam one day, you know you know the answer. I'm not going to tell you. In here you can leave it now. You know who care? There's a lot of people who live in USA. They are leaving Islam big time, like the Iranian. But anyway, you know you are safe from Muslims and you know they can do nothing to you in here. Let us see where is the lie, and let us talk about it. Well, when the penalty for leaving Islam is death. Look at the silence. Renouncing the message of Islam, the sin of apostasy, <coughs> is certainly a serious business. But many moderate Muslims would balk at Yusuf's views on the death sentence. Their view is that faith is a matter of personal assent, and point to one of the Quran's most celebrated texts to make their point. Surah 2, verse 256, there is no compulsion in religion. Okay, is it true really there is no compulsion in religion, in Islam? He mentioned to you a verse and he gave us the verse. Is that true or this is a lie? You know, always we hear Muslims pointing this verse for us and many because they don't know, you know, they accept it. They say, oh, okay, wow, this is good. This religion don't force people to, uh, 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 you know, convert to Islam. But the Muslims will never tell you that the Quran is full of verses, it's abrogated. It is abrogated, which means you are not allowed to follow no more. It is there. Muhammad, he made those verses when he was weak. He was a potato. Which means, you know, he have no power over them anyway. He said, okay, you know what, uh, I, cannot force, I cannot force you. 
This is the whole idea. The day he was able to force, he changed his mind. You see why Muhammad is a hypocrite? Muhammad is the same as every Muslim. Muslims, they live in the West as, as Muslims, they live everywhere in three stages. The first stage when they are weak, they are soft, they are nice, you know, uh, they are potatoes like you. Whatever you say to them, okay, all right, you know, I'm a Muslim, I cannot, you know, I, you know, I am a Muslim. We've been ordered to be nice to everybody. Later, when they are like, let's say, 10% or 15% of the population, you will see the Muslims, they are going more aggressive, like what happened in France. For three months, they are burning cars, destroying stores, you know. Wait until they are 50%, the country will be under their control, period. Because the aggressive is a lot more, you know, uh, powerful from the one is soft. The one who believe in beheading, he can control the one who don't believe in beheading easy. Terror is the key. Terror is the way. Now let us show you in here how those gentlemen in here, they love to lie when they say the Quran have a verse. It says no compulsion in, in the religion. Let us go and see how we can expose this lie. This is an Islamic website. I will show you the website from the top so nobody can say to me, this is not true Islamic website. This is a Christian website maybe, right? Because we know Muslims. We know and you know Muslims. It's called the Quran.com. Okay, the Quran.com. As you see in the screen, this is the Quran.com, not my website, Islamic website. And now we will show you a list of the abrogated verses in the Quran. And by the way, you will be surprised because the list is so huge. If I show you the end of the page, you will see what I mean. This is the end of the page just to show you how big is the list if you want to go draw, or draw down you know there, there there's verses in this two side you know so the whole Quran is almost abrogated what is left in the Quran so the foolish people who believe that the Quran is not abrogated or the Quran you know when they give you verse from the Quran and they say to you see there's a verse in there saying the following see this is not true this is not true sir the Quran is, you know, I cannot keep drawing actually down because it's too much. Uh, 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 like the list is so huge. So those who say to you, uh, uh, the Quran have no abrogation, they are a bunch of liars. And I will post the link, by the way, in the side of the video. You can click on it and you can watch it and you can read it by yourself. And you can check it out. This is an Islamic website. So the list of uh, abrogated verse in the Quran is a uh, huge. Now let us see the verse he mentioned to us, which is Surah uh, 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 2 verse 256. If that verse is abrogated, this is will prove to us that Muslims are liars when they say no composition in Islam. Okay, let us see if it's listed there or not. And here we speak with the proofs and reference. We don't we don't talk from our own mind. This is why the Muslims they hate our uh, uh, our uh, uh, our answers, because we prove their faith and their lies very easy. Let us see. This is uh, this is Al Baqarah. Here we go. We are getting close. There are too many. You see, in the in the two side we have verses. Okay, two five six. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look again, just to compare. You see it? 256. This is Surah 2, 256. There is no composition in, in religion. Go there down. Do you see it? There is no composition in religion. Truly the right way has become clearly. So this one is abrogated, which means Muslims are not allow, allowed to follow. They can read it, but have no more value. That's it. But they fool you with it. They give you this verse saying, to see, you see, Islam saying clearly, you know, we cannot force you to Islam. See, they will never tell you that this verse is abrogated. Go to the top of the page. You will see the following. It says, abrogated verses. Do you see it? And by the way, those are not all the list. Those are just some of them. So why Muslims love to lie? Why they love to lie? 
I will tell you why. Because it's part of their religion, as we said before. You can go and watch the last few videos and you will see what I'm talking about. Jesus is Lord, Islam is a lie, I mean.